What is going on guys, Tiswalfa here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Dungeons. Now last time we left off, we just beat the Howling Peaks DLC, and at the end of the Howling Peaks DLC, I asked you guys, hey, which DLC should we play next? Should it be the Flames of the Nether? Should it be the Hidden Depths? Or should it be the Echoing Void? And the majority of you guys voted for me to continue playing this in chronological order and play Flames of the Nether next. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And of course, because we're starting a new DLC today, it's going to be a pilot episode. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see me play more Minecraft Dungeons Flames of the Nether DLC here in the future. And if I get a really positive response to today's video, I may end up playing more of it here in the future. So without any further ado, let's jump right back in. Let's start this game. And uh, you guys remember last episode was a it was a relatively short episode. It was just us defeating the Tempest Golem at the very end of the Howling Peaks DLC. Uh, but at the very end, we did get some new gear and I showed it off at the beginning of that episode. So if you guys didn't watch that, we have a new thing over here called the Chill Gale Knife, which I think is exclusive to the Howling Peaks DLC, which is interesting. Uh, which speaking of such would be over here. Uh, Gale Sanctum, that's the name of the thing. That's probably why we got that. And then Gauntlet of Gales, that's the level beforehand. So that's probably why that Let's name that. And then we have plate armor over here too with surprise gift level two, potion barrier level three, and thorns level three. Really good enchantments there. And down here, like probably my, in my opinion, the MVP of, of all the gear that we have, two satchel of elements. We could actually have three of them if we wanted to, but I like having the buzzy nest just to kind of have some uh, some bees helping us out, you know, dealing some damage as well, soaking up some damage from enemies and distracting them too, which is really good. Uh, but, you know, this one right here does 9,317 artifact damage to up to seven enemies. And then this one does 89.82. We got this at the end of the level, so we haven't used this one yet. The other one we were using did uh, 5,212 artifact damage. So not quite as much as these down here. So that's why we're using them now. And then, of course, for our bow, we have baby crossbows. 397 times two range damage, double projectiles, and then arrows grow with size. So it has growth built into it alongside enchanting level three and void strike level three. So it's a pretty good gear here. And of course, we're level 80, uh, 87 power level 87. So that's what we want to be jumping into here in just a moment. Uh, the blacksmith over here still has one out of three. I said I might do some daily missions or whatever uh, between this episode and last episode. Didn't have time to do that, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. But let's just jump in. We're going to be using that same gear that I just kind of listed off right there. Let, let's jump in, I believe, over here to other dimensions to do Flames of the Nether. And I think we're going to have a cutscene. Oh, wait, no, we don't have a cutscene. Either that or there was a cutscene and I need to go re-record or something like that. Because I'm pretty sure I accidentally clicked on other dimensions before and had a cutscene. So I don't know what it was. I might have to edit it in or something like that. <laughs> But either way, Ancient Hunt. Ooh, yeah, remember we have Ancient Hunt down here. We never did any of that stuff. Maybe we'll experiment around with that uh, during this DLC, you guys. That'd be pretty cool. Island Realms is blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. And over here is like the end stuff. So we'll worry about this a little bit later. Ah, never mind. It's actually locked. So I don't have any choice, it looks like. <laughs> I think. Hold on. Ooh, yeah. Maybe we need to get all the Eyes of Ender to actually unlock all this over here for the... Uh, for the void one. Ooh, okay. Either way, let's jump into Nether Wastes over here. And hey, look at that. Magically, I can select the difficulty. I can go all the way down the recommended power of 68. For some reason, at the Howling Peaks, it, it forced me to do like Apocalypse 4, which at the time was like 1.3, 1.4 times difficulty or something like that. But now it's normal difficulty because our power level is 87. Should we jump it up to Apocalypse 5? 1.4 times difficulty. But look at that. 88 to 98. That's going to be all the gear and artifacts that we're going to get. All of them are going to be higher than what we currently have right now. So I'm um, kind of considering it. We've got some pretty good gear. Do I want to switch over? I don't know. But this is normal difficulty right here. It might be worth it. I guess we could try it out. Yeah, I might try it out. Let's start the mission here. We have one thing that we don't know there and then two things here in terms of gear. So uh, hopefully we're going to get some pretty good artifacts and gear during this, you guys. Let's read the story about this. I always forget about this. <laughs> Infinite Wasteland. Any journey through the nether begins in the nether wastes. The endless sprawl is scattered with strange relics that break up the bleak landscape, jutting forth from somewhere beneath the surface. Ooh. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a pretty crazy change of scenery here, you guys. Going from like some mountain, cold mountain, all the way down to the fiery depths of heck itself. <laughs> Anyways, let's start the mission here in the nether wastes. And let's see if we're going to get a cool cutscene here, too. A harsh welcome awaits you in the nether wastes. Ooh. Only ruins and relics keep you company as you race to escape the seemingly endless sprawl. You'll need to keep your wits about you if you want to survive the wastes. 
whoa, what is that there in the background? It's kind of like tumbled over. Like a bunch of gold back there. You guys see that? What was that? Yeah, look at all that. What is all that about? I'm curious about that. Oh yeah, we should probably change our pet. We have the goat from uh, Howling Peaks. We should probably, what do we have? Uh, that one, the baby ghast? Yeah, that's the flames of the nether DLC. Okay, cool. So I guess we're gonna have a baby ghast now as our little pet, so that's cool. Is there any, uh, any loot here at the very beginning? I guess not. Yeah, they didn't hide any loot up here, so that's cool. Uh, man, I need to get used to not being able to roll. It's been like multiple episodes since, oh man, we got like, oh, uh, oh, we got hogs over here. Let's kill these hogs, kill them. Oh, I should pull up that Wikipedia page that has enemy like names and stuff like that on it. But yeah, we, it, did I list off all the stuff that was on the sword? I don't think I did, did I? Yeah, I think I just showed you guys that it was just called the Chill, <laughs> chill Gale Knife. But we have Guardian Strike 1, Poison Cloud 3, and Radiance 2. So that's really, really good. I love this. If we get more enchantments, if we level up or whatever, Guardian Strike, or, or maybe, I'll, maybe I'll get rid of, like, Phase of Frost. I'm like, maybe I'll salvage that. I might have to, honestly. I might. Oh, wait, hold on. Which one was it? Or was this the one that was newer? I forget. Which one's newer? I think that was the newer one, wasn't it? Yeah, Phase of Frost. Huh, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> we've got some- Oh man, we got a magma slime up here! Holy, oh my gosh! But thankfully it looked like- Oh man, oh man, oh man! Oh, you know what, you know what? Bees! Let's get the bees over here. And you know what, you know what? We're getting kind of low. There you go, boom, and we got strength right there. Remember, every time we take a life potion, or a health potion right there, we 100% guaranteed to get a consumable out of it, so that's really good. And whenever I take a health potion, I take only 10% damage for what, nine seconds or something crazy there? So yeah, really, really powerful to use the health potion, you guys, it's crazy. We get so many pork chops from these guys, holy. Let's kill this other magma cube, magma slime, whatever he's called. <laughs> I need to pull up that wiki in case we come across any new creatures, you guys, and I'll actually be able to pull up uh, what they're actually called, <laughs> instead of just calling them, oh, this one's called magma guy, or, or boar guy, or whatever else, right? <laughs> Hold on, oh, oh, more boars over here, or hogs, or whatever you want to call them. So I kind of want to go down here, actually. I don't want to go into the lava, though, golly. <laughs> Let's go over here. Because it looks like there's one little section I might have missed out on. Anything over here? No. Okay, now, how many secrets? How many chests? One secret, three chests. Seems rather small, but remember, that that number can go up. It's just that for some reason, it don't tell us everything on right off the bat. For some, I have no idea why. But either way, uh, let's go up here, see if there's anything up here. Because it looks like... Oh, wait, that's not it right there. Oh, we do. Oh, we have an entrance or an exit right there to another dungeon or something. Interesting. Oh, looks like we're going into another stronghold or something there. Okay, well, let's go this way, see if there's anything over here. And I do not believe so. Okay, cool. Let's go inside the stronghold or the dungeon or whatever this is right here. <laughs> Jump in, boom. Oh, yeah, this is definitely another stronghold or something. I don't know, it looks different. I'm gonna get better because it's Minecraft dungeons. So they have a little bit more uh, creative liberty. I guess you could describe it as piglin armor, 88 right there. Not bad, but. I believe our uh, plate armor is like 90, so no, no, it is 88 as well. Okay, cool. Uh, we do have another level up right there. I get it. Uh, yeah, I'll see all of our stuff is so high level right now. We need multiple enchantment points to actually enchant them to another level, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. Unless I do want to get rid of the fangs of frost, which I might actually have to here in just a bit, you guys. Oh, man, we got blazes. We've never fought a blaze yet, but boom, man, he went down really easily right there. Good stuff. All right. Oh, blaze spawner. Hold on, should I? Take down the blaze spawner. I'm going to spawn in the bees there. Boom. We got ourselves a wither skeleton there. I think that's the first time we fought a wither. Actually, hold on. Wasn't the wither skeleton a mini boss? Like it, like earlier on in the game or something like that? I think so. And then we got piglins over here as well. And the flames are fighting my bee or the, 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 the blazes are fighting my bees over here. So I'm kind of, kind of curious. Like how in the, what, do I actually do? I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do actually have to kill the spawner right there. Okay, cool. I was about to say, like, maybe I'll leave it alive just to kind of grind on the blazes there. It seems like I'm taking a lot of damage uh, over time from the blazes. I might want to heal up. Need to get away, though. Golly. Hold on. See if I can snipe them down. I think I'm able to. There you go. Boom. And another hit right there. Another one right there. Boom. Is he down? Ah, uh, there's the... Yeah, they keep spawning in right there. Man. Oh, man, I died. Golly. Yeah, my potion was on cooldown right there. I couldn't heal up. <laughs> I was trying to keep my distance and everything, too, but, man, that just didn't work. Yeah, that... that, that Blaze Spawner has a lot of health. But remember, we do have Radiance, so it does make sense to try and melee stuff down because you can heal yourself up if if you're lucky, I guess you can describe it. Yeah, see, there we go. We took down the Blaze Spawner there. Makes sense. I'm like, what are we on? 1.4 times difficulty, and we're going up against a literal spawner of Blazes right there, too. And it was the first time we're taking on Blazes, too, so I, I will give myself a pass. Still relatively early on in the level, I'd say. I don't know if it's... If I died again, maybe I'd consider redoing the level. <laughs> and I'd, I'd, I'd have to pause and... Uh, see you guys once I- Oh, what in the world? Oh my gosh, gold-armored piglin right there. Hold on. Keep our distance. 
to do maximum damage to him with the growth of our uh, baby crossbows. Yeah, look at that. We did some great damage to him right there. Amazing. Oh, man, even more of them. Another gold armored one up there. Hold on. And there's fire spawning around us. Is there a blaze doing that or are they doing that? Do they have a special enchantment or something? I don't know. Oh, no, that is a blaze doing that. Ooh, okay, so there we go. Yeah, we have, we have a decent amount of arrows right now. Probably shouldn't be using them. To, oh, yeah, see, here we go. Did a pretty good amount. 4,000 damage to heckin' blaze spawner right there, but boom. Guess I'm going to be taking the health potion right there. Let's keep doing damage to the blaze spawner as I'm only taking 10% damage after using the life potion right there. Nice. And let's kill this remaining blaze. Okay, never mind. Knocked him off the map. Actually, I did kill him right there. I thought I just knocked him off the map and that killed him, but no. <laughs> killed him anyways. Nice. All right, so let's continue on. What's inside this little dungeon here? Oh, it actually is a little dungeon. Ooh. Oh, oh, man, I lost my heckin'. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I haven't used the uh, the elemental satchels. Haven't used those just yet. Let's spawn in our uh, bees right there. There you go. I haven't used that just yet until there. So, yeah, I, I was using that. Uh, I, I was saving that up. And, yeah, I, I feel like it definitely makes sense to use it right there because we're surrounded by so many enemies right there, especially because we're behind enemy lines for a little while, so no, no one was attacking us. And then the little, little, little shadow brewer or whatever ran out, so we did... Oh, we did eventually get detected there. Do we do have a chest that just... Oh, wait, it's up there. Okay. But what's down here? I feel like we're going to get trapped or something. Oh, wait, no, this was locked up just a second ago. Okay, I think it was locked up, but then it got unlocked whenever we defeated all those enemies right there. Okay, cool. So, yeah, see that? Well, I don't think we saw that chest just a minute ago, so I wouldn't be surprised if, yep, the number of chests went from three to four. So, yeah, see, they could just be kind of invisible like that. You just don't know they're there unless you actually just kind of defeat all the enemies or do whatever prerequisite stuff in order to actually get the chest to appear in the first place, which is so weird. You think it'd just be a part of that number anyways, but I guess not. I know, let's, let's get out of here. We still have shot a brew for another six seconds, so let's see if we can actually take advantage of that. Okay, yeah, here we go. And boom, 4,000 damage. One shot of that heck, an enchanted paper. Uh, I think it was just armor. Oh, we have a supply chest up here, too. Oh, man. Oh, the heck, an arrows fell off the map. Are you kidding me? Man. All right, well, they gave me a supply thing right there. I think it supplies, so kind of think we're getting uh, ready for a mini boss battle or a gauntlet or something here. And I'm prepared. I don't know. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man, I'm withered. Taking a lot of damage. It just healed up right there, but that didn't do anything. I've got Shadow Brew. Hold on. Let's get one that has a lot of health. Boom. One shot him. Took him down. Nice. And kill that wither, too. Yeah, I, I, I guess if anything, you guys remember back in the, uh, the oh, 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 my gosh. There we go. Knock him off the edge. There we go. Nice. Got some Radiance, too. But remember, we had some weapon that had an enchantment on it. That was like smite or something like that, right? So it does extra damage to undead. I was like, oh man, it doesn't make too much sense. What is the only undead thing? Like a regular skeleton or a zombie or whatever? Makes sense now, right? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, I wonder if using the satchel of elements makes sense for the blaze spawner. Oh, it does. Yeah, wow, it does extra damage. It does damage to the blaze spawner itself. Nice. Just use both of those right there. Boom, blaze spawner's almost dead. Just had to melee it down for like a half second and then it's dead. Nice. All right, let's take down that wither skeleton. But yeah, they haven't heckin' smite right now in the underworld, in the nether, definitely makes sense, right? So if I do have another weapon, a really good we weapon, because remember, we are on 1.4 times difficulty, so we're hopefully- Oh, he fell off the edge right there. <laughs> so hopefully we're going to get some really good high-level gear here. Uh, and it has smite, then yeah, I'm definitely going to consider that, you guys. That seems like a great enchantment to have during the, what is it called, Flames of the Nether DLC. Okay, there's a blaze right there. I don't think a blaze spawner, though. I don't think we have to worry about that, but got a little bit of radiance right there for a little bit of healings. And another piglin right there, just a standard one and another, st another standard uh, wither skeleton. I keep thinking in the back of my head, I'm pretty sure they, they were a mini boss or something like that, like in the base game. I don't know. I might have to look into that. Look that up, or maybe I'll see some comments telling me about it. I don't know. Or maybe I'm thinking about something else. Because Enderman was a... Well, he, he was definitely a mini-boss in the base game, but he's still a mini-boss even in these DLCs, so I don't, I don't think anything changed in that regard. Let's get the bees out. Kind of distract him a little bit. Oh, man, I'm taking a lot of damage, especially withering from the heckin' Wither Skeleton. I'm going to heal up right there, though. And let's get some Elemental Satchels going. Boom. And the Wither Skeleton just got caught on fire right there. Nice. And I think I accidentally just started attacking the... Uh, or at least targeting the bee nest right there, so that was kind of a oopsie-doopsie. Oh, we have another Strength over there, but Strength is about to run out right now. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just another vase over here. Okay, cool. Oop, grab some of that. Yeah, we have some, like, minecart tracks over here randomly. Okay. Let's keep on exploring every inch over here. Exploring the wastelands. The nether wastes. Ugh. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> Let's keep on going, though. Oh, oh. More with it. Yeah, remember, we do have thorns, because he just... He just oh, oh, my gosh. I'm taking a lot of damage right there. Let's get the bees. 
freeze that guy and take him, strike him down, copy strike him down. Let's get the bees to hopefully help us out as we heal up. Okay, good, nice. And we got ourselves a uh, consumable right there in the form of a heckin' uh, bundle of arrows. Okay, that's good, because remember, we lost one arrow. One uh, bundle of arrows, that is, from a heckin' falling off the map right there, so that kinda sucked. <laughs> but there we go. Buzzy bee nest just fell apart, so that kinda sucks too. And we have a bunch of wither skeletons right here we need to watch out for. That one got frozen, and this one's got toxic waste or whatever right there, or toxic clouds, so taking a little bit of damage over time. Taste of his own medicine. Just like the withering effect they keep giving to me right there, right? And we have some more wither skeletons over here. So, oh, oh. Uh-oh, we got a gauntlet spawning in. Seems like it's right on time because we can get our buzzy bee nest out. Boom, we have it ready to go. Awesome. Okay, let's do this. Oh, nice. Caught everything on fire, which is actually kind of funny. You'd think everything over here would be impervious to flame attacks and stuff like that, but no, I guess not. <laughs> Take down these piglins over here. I think they, they've got to be called... Oh, wait, no, those are zombie piglins or zombie pigmen. Those are actually the classic zombie pigmen right there, <laughs> which I think, yeah, they're still in the game. You just have to have a... Like a, like a certain scenario in order for them to spawn in, right? Like you have to... Oh, there you go, kill him. Like what, bring it to the... Or over... I forget how it was. Maybe I'm misremembering or something like that. Maybe someone's going to let me know in the comments down below because they changed a whole lot of stuff ever since I stopped playing Minecraft super duper regularly, right? But either way, Wither Skeleton right there, so if we take him down, anything else over here chasing after us. And you know what? Boom, Satchel of Elements. Caught them all on fire, killed them all instantly too, nice. I don't know if I want to use my uh, my Radiance to try and heal me up here, but I might have to rely on it. Yeah, that healed me up a little bit right there. As long as I take on enemies one at a time, I think it's fine. Nice little bit of rhyme right there too. <laughs> I like whenever I'm rhyming things and it, it, it just happens to be the I'm rhyme, and then I say, oh man, I rhymed, and I, I do it again, right? There you go. Get the Buzzy Bean has to hopefully take care of all those blazes there. See, uh, hopefully take care of anything else down here. Okay, just with the skeletons. Oh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them there. I do not like that at all. I'm gonna die. I'm totally gonna die here. Health potion. Nice. Man, that was so perfect timing right there. Whoops. Use the uh, other potion right there. Actually, yeah, I think the uh, the satchel of elements right there. It didn't it didn't actually get used on any enemies, so it didn't actually uh, use a cooldown right there. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> a little bit of a pun right there. It didn't use a cooldown. That's cool in and of itself. <laughs> Cut that out of the video. Oh, hold on, hold on. Speaking of cooldown, I'm going to wait for things to get out of the cooldown before I jump into that area over there. Might use Radiance. Ah, I didn't get any Radiance right there, but uh, yeah, if I can get Growth to try and take on that, that, that Blaze spawner right there, that'd be really, really good. Try and do some maximum damage to it, but I do have Blazes in the way, kind of blocking that over there, unfortunately. Man. Let's go over here, fall down this cliff. There you go, nice. Oh, oh man, Port Chop, nice. A little bit of uh, health regeneration for 10 seconds, nice. And we have uh, those Blazes there still. Oh, I've got a pretty good amount of arrows, 111 right there, so yeah, it definitely makes sense to start using them. Uh, should I go over there right now? Yeah, you know what, let's go over here, use the both satchels. I just used both of them right there, but it didn't work. It might have done a little bit of damage, but boom, there you go, it's finally down, that's good. I don't, I don't even need to kill that, I could have just ignored this thing, but... Boom, there you go. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to get some good loot from these guys or something like that, I don't know. So there you go, clean that out, and there's even more over here for us to explore, golly! Oh man, a bl I didn't even see that guy at first, golly. There you go, nice. Another random wither skeleton just wasted an arrow on the wall. <laughs> there you go, I'm oh, speaking of wasting arrows, I just wasted some arrows right there, whoops. And we have some big enemies, oh! I thought I heard a big enemy. Ah, oh, it's just more blazes over here. All right, let's get the, uh, I didn't need to use the buzzy nest right there. Eh, yeah, we took that down really quickly with the satchel of elements. Has some really good luck of it doing both, uh, oh, 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 this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Stay out of that. Stay the heck out of that. I will take them on one at a time, though. Don't mind if I do. But taking them all on, like, as a group, yeah, I'm not doing that. That's way too risky. Yeah, the bee can take care of the other one there, too. Cool. Awesome. So I don't know if we're getting anywhere here, you guys. It still just says explore the wastes. And there's a lot that we've explored, and a lot, it seems like a lot, ahead of us as well to explore. And I kind of want to see what our progress is here, yeah. Four out of five chests. Haven't found that secret yet, though. So I don't know what that's going to be, if it's going to be something that's kind of, like, obvious. Or is it going to be kind of hidden? Because it can be kind of hidden, but I, I feel like I'd do an okay job of, you know, covering as much ground as possible to try and find all the loot and whatnot, right? But, uh, oh man, that must be an enchanted piglin. All right, let's take down these wither skeletons there. Yeah, we haven't taken on anything, like, no mini-bosses or anything like that just yet. I wouldn't be too surprised if they throw one at me here in just a bit. Uh, but it seems like it's just the same enemies over and over again. The wither skeletons, the blazes and whatnot. Like, I'm not complaining, they're, they're pretty tough enemies, especially the blazes when you have their blaze spawner and whatnot, and they just constantly spawn in, but at the same time... Uh, well, then again, oh, jeez. Oh, well, then again, the Nether doesn't really have too many uh, variety of enemies anyways. Oh, yeah, we did have the Magma Cube, too, the Magma Slime, whatever you want to call it. So we had that guy as well, but I don't know. Would there be any unique enemies in this, in the Nether? Maybe. Maybe they, I guess they could. I'm like, they did a whole Nether rehaul, like, like, a year or two ago or something like that, right? Because I did a whole Minecraft hardcore season of it. But I can't think of any, like, Nether 
exclusive things other than everything that's already in here that we've already experienced, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I guess if anything, maybe I'm like, they're probably saving stuff like the, oh, geez, ske wither skeletons or uh, like the actual wither itself <laughs> has like an actual boss or something like that, or like an upgraded version of it for as a boss, or maybe it's going to be a mini boss or something like that. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. There you go. Another spawner over there. Ah, I can't aim it right here. The terrain's in the way. Let's get our buzzy bee nest ready right there. Let's go get this pork chop, get some regens, and I feel a little bit more comfortable now taking on these blazes over here, especially with all those bees. Get these satchel of elements. Man, we had a really good one right there. Got two lightning strikes to take down the heckin' spawner. That's good stuff there, you guys. Nice. I think I covered this corner over here, but I want to double check. Oh, wait, no, there's another spawner over there. Okay, cool. Let's just keep our distance. Keep aiming down that spawner. So we do maximum damage to the spawner itself, as well as to the blazes. Might as well take them down so we don't take constant damage from them, right? Boom, there you go. They're dead. And they're just going to keep spawning in. Ah, I keep hitting the walls and stuff here. Man, I'm trying to keep my distance too. Okay, there you go. I healed up. Might as well use the potion barrier to take down there. You took down the spawner. They're nice. Let's take down this blaze. With another blaze there to our left. Boom, took him down, and there's one blaze still back there. Man! We haven't really gotten any loot, I don't think, right? Like we got we got some like piglin armor or something like that. I don't think it was too good. It was the same level as our uh plate armor. I doubt it'd be any better, but I guess we could check. I don't think we've got any weapons, but maybe it kind of got caught up in uh, the shuffle of all this stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything new here. Yeah, that's just wind, wind bows and stuff like that. Yeah, here's the piglin armor we picked up. 25, 12 health, not bad. It's actually very comparable to this. Golly, the plate armor. Holy heck. So this has, it actually has three enchantment slots over here. Nice. Health synergy, potion focus, lucky explorer, soul focus, death barter. Yeah, I actually got some comments from you guys during the Howling Peaks DLC when we had death barter as a, an enchantment option before. And you guys were like, yeah, death barter is like super powerful. It makes sense. Like, every time you die or whatever, you just pay, like, what, 150 emeralds? And then, boom, you, you you get another life, especially whenever you're, you know, messing around with higher and higher difficulties like we are right now, 1.4 times. Although, there are probably people out there, you know, doing even higher than that, but you guys know what I mean. Higher than what is recommended. <laughs> but, uh, and of course, we can upgrade it all the way down to so it's, like, super cheap at only 50 emeralds. Then again, surprise gift. If these were on different enchantment, like, slots over here, i definitely get surprise gift and death barrier. But because they're on the same one right there, I don't know which one to choose, like... Surprise gift right now is so good. Whenever we take a potion, we're guaranteed we have a surprise gift tier two, 100% chance to trigger. I don't know why you'd get tier three for 150% chance. Maybe there's a chance for it to give you two consumables, if that's the case, I guess. That, that's the only way that makes sense, I guess, right? Man, we just took some withering right there. I need to be careful here. Let's get the buzzy bee nest. Uh, do I need that right now? I don't know if I want to waste it. It doesn't seem like we need it right now. It seems like we're fine. Yeah, there, you just melee him off the edge. <laughs> there you go. And uh, yeah, just forget about him, it looks like, yeah. Seems like a repeat of an area we we're at earlier on. Yeah, you don't get the buzzy bee nest right there. Boom, boom. Okay, one satchel was good. The other one wasn't so good, but boom, man. And we got a level up right there. Nice. Took down the uh, or, uh, spawner right there and got an enchantment. And we even healed up pretty well from that. Uh, what do you call it? Radiance. <laughs> I keep forgetting what it's called, but there you go. So let's, let's over here. Another uh, spawner. I don't know if I'm able to roll into there. If I want to, I'm not going to do that. It's going to be risky if I just roll into that. Not even knowing what's over there, right? Could be a heckin' gauntlet for all I know. What does that sound? Oh, another supply chest right there. Yeah, they gave me a supply chest not too long ago, and it didn't seem like they... Like, 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 usually they do that before a big gauntlet of... Oh, enchanted zombified piglin. Oh, yeah, didn't they change it to the zombified piglin or whatever instead of zombie pigmen? Yeah, I think that's what they called it, right? Yeah. And that was, like, one of the changes that they did. But it's, like, it's, it's literally just the old pig man, right? So it's not... I'm, like... The actual character model itself changed a little bit, but nothing too crazy. There you go. Boom. Wow. Got some really good uh, enchantments or uh, man, <laughs> elemental satchel whatever's right there on that. So that's good. Oh, I didn't even see these, uh, these, these like hogs or whatever right there or pigs, whatever. I don't know. Boars. <laughs> Another enchanted zombified piglin right there, though. What's what's over here doing that? Are they spawning them in over here or it's just a limited amount of it? Oh, man. Another two supply chests like on the same screen. Do you guys see that? Why do they give me some ways? I'm not, I'm not complaining. It's always good to get bread and extra arrows and whatnot, especially because we have a pretty good arrow uh, crossbows right now, but seems like they're giving, oh. Oh, now they're locking me in. What's it going to be for, huh? Okay, just regular old piglins over here? I guess so, yeah. And then we got another one over here, zombified piglin right there. This one has gold armor though, or enchanted or something. I can't tell, it's just regularly armored. Doesn't have like gold or diamond or anything like that, I don't think, yeah. It might've been iron armor actually. Oh, but that was it, that was it. Am I really on the 1.4 times? Did, did I accidentally do uh, Apocalypse 4 instead of Apocalypse 5? I might have. I wouldn't be too surprised, but 
Maybe it's just because our gear is just that good. I don't know. Oh, the wither skeleton right there. More chests, more spawners. Get another buzzy bee nest going. Oh, it's not a chest right there. Whoops. Just a thing of emeralds, but still pretty good. Oh, I forgot to spend some of the emeralds earlier on whenever we were, uh, like before we started. Probably should have done that, but yeah, look at this. The bees are distracting the blazes as I'm over here meleeing down their heckin' spawner. That's so good. And there's a wither skeleton that got distracted too. Boom, he's down. Nice. And another one is down. Good. Ah, another spawner over there, yeah. Seems like they're really, uh, having fun spawning in a bunch of blaze spawners. There, let's get a healing right there. And we got a shadow brew right there, cool. Aw, oh, man, I accidentally just clicked on him, wasted a shadow brew, like, what, three times melee damage on him? Whoops. Well, let's try and melee. Oh, you know what? Elemental satchel. And boom, the spawner is down. Roll. And took them both down. Nice. Look like the blazes had, like, withering effect on them or something like that. I didn't think they'd be able to take withering from the skeletons, but that's kind of weird. There you go. Yeah, still no mini bosses, no no actual gauntlet. I'm mean, like that technically was a gauntlet just a minute ago, but didn't seem too tough. Seems like a walk in the park, and I'm not bragging or anything like that. We are on 1.4 times difficulty, so it should be a little bit more difficult. Well, then again, we did die earlier on, but I guess for right now, I'm glad I didn't spend or I didn't I didn't reset the map, and and just because I died once, right? I I, I feel good that we didn't waste all that extra time doing that <laughs> just to get one life back, because we still have two lives. And then the last life, which is technically three lives, right? And one bee just walked straight into fire on... <laughs> just caught himself on fire right there for some reason. There's a spawner over here? Nah, there's not. Man, I've got strength right now. It'd be really good if I could use it on a spawner, but no. Yeah, nothing up there either. Still haven't come across the secret, have I? Yeah, I haven't come across that. Five out of six chests, though, so... Still holding up uh, pretty well right there, although it... Kind of gives me the idea I might have missed a chest behind me. <laughs> and I don't like that feeling. Let's keep on going on over here, though. Little, uh, oh man, we're actually able to shoot up right there? That's kind of good. Oh man, I can't see. I still have strength for another three seconds right there, but yeah, the terrain is really getting in the way right there. And uh, there you go, take him down. But, oh, what was all this stuff? There's like plants and stuff over there. I don't know if I want to use the TNT right now. I might just save it until I get ganged up. Oh wait, hold on, it splits off over here. Which way? Okay, so that way is the way you need to go for the actual main mission. So I'm going to go this way, explore what's over here. Maybe this is going to lead us to a secret. Oh, it led us to a chest. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the map. Hey, a battle staff, level 88. I'm like, it's matched with our current gear, right? Oh, wait, no, our sword is, uh, yeah, our sword is level, level 90 there, so. 536 to 8, 871 right there, and then this battle staff right here, 670 to 2, 2063. It only has two enchantment slots in there. No illager, I don't, yeah, we haven't come across, like, any, like, nether illagers, specific. So, yeah, just, I guess it's just kind of opposite. Earlier, I was like, yeah, Smite's not so good on the Howling Peaks, because there's so many illagers. But now... Illager's Bane doesn't make sense here. Smite makes sense. So, yeah, I definitely get Swirling instead. And then maybe Poison Cloud instead of Void Strike. This is a melee. It sounds, it seems like it makes more sense there. Void Strike, I, you guys already know. I feel like it makes more sense on a, a ranged like that. So, yeah, I, I don't know if I'll actually switch to it, though. Stylish, stylish combo. I don't know what that... I guess that's the one that does, yeah, 2,000 damage there. This one does 536 to 871. Yeah, the only thing that's, like, worse is the speed. It's a little bit slower, but it has more power. It has more area. Hmm, but it only has two enchantments, so eh, that's what's holding it back. If I had three, I'd, I'd, I'd most likely switch like right then and there, honestly. Let's see what's over here. Big group of enemies? Hopefully so, because I just threw the TNT. <laughs> Did it kill anything right there? I don't think it killed anything. Man, at least I'm getting a little bit of healing back from the Radiant, so that's good. Get some uh, emeralds right there. Nice. And is there a secret or is there a chest? Or... There's literally nothing. Okay. <laughs> just wasted my time over here. Are you kidding me? Ah. Yeah, that happens way too often. Whenever you have, like, procedurally generated maps, it may not always spawn what should be there. If I if I did this map again, and it, like, if I come to this exact area, there's probably something that actually does spawn over there, so kind of incentivizes you to do the map, like, multiple, multiple times. Oh, man, we have an enchanted or, uh, armored piglin over here, though. Take him down, boom. Took him down pretty convincingly right there. Not bad. Oh, man, there's even more, like, gold, like, 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 like shambles, like, towers, pieces, and another supply chest up there. Uh-oh, open the gate. Ooh, this gate? Yeah, it seems like it. So that means going over here, it looks like. Yeah, what is this? Okay, so if I hit this, we're going to get a big, like, gauntlet of enemies? I think so. Boom, what's that going to do? Get the supply chest. Boom, arrows and a bread bundle. That just... Oh! What opened up the gate? New event, arena battle. Ooh, we have an arena battle. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's going to cut off over here. Whoops. Hold on, hold on. This might actually be a good thing. So I can get my busy bee nest right there. Buzzy bee. Oh, whoa, we've got a lot of things over here. Boom. Elemental Satchel, hopefully doing some good damage. Getting some, uh, Potion Barrier right there, though. Holy heck, we took a lot of damage immediately. Most likely from all the Wither Skeletons and all the Blazes over there, too. Oh, my gosh. 
And let's do another nice lightning strike right there. Do some great damage to him. And uh, you know what? Do another one right there. Nice. Doing a lot of damage over time with all that fire. That's great stuff. Might want to keep my distance again. I think we still have some bees over here. Yeah, we have one of them following me, though. But uh, there you go. Open up all those, I suppose, right now. Is there anything else over here, though? Or did we kill? Oh, no. There's still blaze right there. Is that it? Okay, yeah, there you go. We got a port right there. Oh, man, that was it? That was relatively easy. Like, I'm... <laughs> Once again, I'm not, like, toot my own horn or, or anything like that over here, but it seems like it, it's just not really that much of a challenge. Should I have done two levels above my current power level? I don't know. Maybe. Seems like a really good advantageous spot right here to try and do maximum damage. Actually, maybe even get it even further to the uh, to the blaze spawner over there, you know? Because we do have growth on the, uh, on the crossbow, so the further away we are, the more damage are. Oh, man, we took him down right there with the shadow, sh shadow brood. Nice. But we are taking a lot of damage right there from all these guys, so there you go. Oh, man, lit them all on fire right there. And I can't even see the health bar on one of them, but one of them is getting a lot of damage. Boom, took him down. Oh, this one has quick enchantment on him, but boom, took him down. Was that green arrow? Nah, it's a red arrow right there for that sword, unfortunately. Man. All right, well, at least we're doing some good damage to these blazes and whatnot, but let's get our buzzy bee nest right there. Oh, we're getting some radiance right there, though, keeping me at full health. That's good, but I'm taking a lot of damage. Just get away, get away, get away. Kill the blaze. Get away. We have our heckin' bee nest right there for a reason. Let's take on the blaze from a distance. A nice, safe distance. There you go. Good. Piglin's over there. Another uh, spawner right there, though, and another gate. Seems like we're going to open up that gate and have another uh, gauntlet of enemies and stuff like that, huh? Let's strategically take on this spawner from a distance, though. Do as much damage as possible, and it is down. Okay, good. Nice. And there are our bees right there, yeah. They're not out of cooldown just yet, but uh, if we do this, it's going to open up the gate or, like, spawn in the bridge or what. But you were going to get a gauntlet of enemies, right? I assume so. Are we able to go across? Is it going to let me? Yep. There you go. Okay, cool. No, 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 like, tricks or anything like that there. <laughs> That's good. Seems like just a bunch more picklins. Okay, let's roll in, and then boom, elemental satchel. Took them all down right... Whoa, what was that? Twisting vine bow. Ooh. Okay, let's get our bees out. Boom. Got our bees out right there. Nice. And I just took a health potion right there. Let's get that strength that we just spawned in right there. Awesome. Really good drop. That's what I'm talking about. The surprise gift is really severely underrated. Or at least in my eyes. Seems like... Oh my gosh, that was a really good ele elemental satchel right there. Just did a lot of lightning damage for 9,000. Every one of those. And yeah, insta-killed each and every one of them. <laughs> Man. I don't know. Oh, yeah. The surprise gift. Yeah, super underrated, at least in my eyes. Because, oh, what is this? Oh, that's actually where you're supposed to go, right? No, no, no. That's where you're supposed to go. Seems like it's just spawning in a bunch of uh, enemies and stuff here, huh? There you go. Boom. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Elemental satchel right there. Nice. Huge explosion. Take down this guy. We have Poison Cloud here doing a lot of damage over time. We got some Radiance right there healing me up. And a Shadow Brew. We have another dungeon right here to go into, so let's go. What's this? Whoa, what was that? Oh, I just used my Shadow Brew on something right there. Man, kind of feel like I wasted it. Let's see what's over here. We have our buzzy bee. We have our... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got our bee nest going. Might take on this guy. Take him on from a distance. There you go. Nice safe distance. And what in the world? Oh, it's another piglin guy right there. I need to pull up that wiki page. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I was taking a lot of damage right there. I was taking a lot of damage. Had to heal up, but what are you going to do, right? There you go. Oh, man. That was it. Once again, like, it, it just feels like the gauntlets are going by super fast. It was because there was a gauntlet that we did... Back in the Howling Peaks, I was like literally a gauntlet full of gauntlets. May I just feel like the gauntlets should be a lot bigger than they are now, huh? Because <laughs> I'm so used to that gigantic gauntlet that we did, right? Let's take on these smaller magma cubes. Boom. And the little baby ones, which uh, don't even drop anything. Okay. But a bunch of emeralds over here, which isn't too bad. Yeah, if we did have that emerald uh, enchantment or whatever. 150? Yeah, we have 2,700 right now. Yeah, we'd be able to buy a bunch of lives, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, loot all that stuff in there. All these emeralds. And I'm sure there's more around here too, right? Is there any, uh... Oh, 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 Yeah, right here. Boom. Yeah, see, there's always, like, multiple rooms of stuff over here. Yeah. I seems like there might be something over here, too. What is this? I don't know. Just a random corner right there. Yeah. Once again, know the thing about, like, procedural generation and stuff like that. You're not always going to have, like, a like a, a super perfect looking room. Like, because it's sort of randomized. Uh, it, it's going to be, like, kind of weird. Like, have weird open corners and stuff. It's not going to be perfect, you know? Just like I said. <laughs> Just repeating what I said to justify what I said. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue on over here because it looks like up here is the exit of the weather or of the nether wastes. Now, does that mean it's the end of the map? I don't think so. Usually these maps are like multiple episode maps, like actually taking two episodes to do. Take that potion right there. Oh man, two strengths. Too bad they don't uh, stack up though, but uh, is this actually the end? It looks like it. It is. Holy, that was fast. Wow. Nether been better achievement. I don't know if you guys see that right there. <laughs> But man, that was a really short map. I guess we're just going to have a, a one-episode pilot episode over here instead of like a two-parter. 
<laughs> like we had to do for Howling Peaks. 1,775,556 damage done. Holy heck. Mobs defeated 96%. Did we ever get the secret? I don't know if we ever did. I forgot to check. I was so confounded. Like, oh man, is this actually the end of the level? But I... I don't know if we did, we probably didn't, but we did get all the chests, so 100% chest opened, I love seeing that. 84% on the projectiles hit, yeah, a lot of those was me, you know, aimed down those those blaze spawners and hitting like walls and stuff like that. Damage taken, 50,000, only one life loss, man, I feel so good that we didn't go back and redo that, because that was a shorter map right there. Whoa! Level 95 rare spin blade, that is new. This whirling weapon spins across the battlefield, slicing through enemies in its path. <laughs> that sounds really good. Let's see what that's like right quick. Uh, 1300 artifact. Oh, it's an artifact. Oh, man. I thought it was like a melee. If it was, I would have been good, but it, it makes sense. Just just by the description of it, it makes sense. Uh, so it like spins across. Now, now, now does it go? How's that work? Yeah, kind of like a boomerang there. Ooh, really cool. And it's in it. it Oh, it in and of itself does 1383 artifact damage. Not bad. So if we if we line up a bunch of enemies and hit them with this thing, the spin blade or whatever it's called, so it does 1300 damage this way, and then another 1300 damage whenever it returns back to me. Yeah, that's a lot of damage you can do right there, you guys. Amazing. And then, yeah, we got the twisting vine bow as well. I didn't even look at this when we picked it up. But 509 to 1272 range damage with a poison trail. Let's see how, how what does that do? A poison trail. Ooh, it's like it's like the uh, the poison cloud, but like a path from myself to where the arrow lands. Ooh, once again another strategic sort of thing right there. I love that. Hold on, let, let's see what else is about that. Uh, the enchantments accelerate, cooldown shot. What's that? When you attack uh, with the charge shot, artifact cooldowns are decreased. Yeah, not crazy about that. And then looting there, refreshment right there to lower your uh, life potion like cooldown or whatever. And then weakening. Um, I guess maybe weakening would make sense. I don't know, this done, it seems like a really cool bow, but like the enchantments aren't really too crazy about that, but I'm like accelerate, like it makes sense on a crossbow, but something you have to, oh wait, you have to, no you don't, oh wait, hold on, no, these are the baby crossbows. Yeah, you do have to charge it up, you do have to tension it right there, yeah, but I'm like, you don't have to, I can just click and then boom, but it just does the standard 509 damage, but whenever I do a full pullback right there, 1272, so yeah, you do, it, it does make sense to do that. But accelerate, it makes it just makes more sense for a crossbow, you know? Was that again? Increases attack speed for each consecutive shot, resets one second after the attack. Yeah, definitely makes sense for a crossbow instead. I don't know if you'd actually make use of that on something like that. But honestly, I think I might keep this. I don't know. The satchel of elements, having two of them is just so powerful, as you guys saw right there. But then again, this spin blade, spin blade right here, level 95, 13 to 83, basically times two whenever it goes out and then again whenever it comes back to me. Seems super powerful, and I could use it strategically, because I can, I can I can get a bunch of enemies like ganged up on me, following me, and then I turn around, and then boom, do a bunch of damage to them, you know? And it's not limited to only s seven enemies. Yeah, I could, I could do it to unlimited, apparently, huh? Wow, that seems really good. That seems really good. I think I'm going to keep that, if anything, just to, to incentivize using it, you know? Just so I'm not like, oh, I'm just going to constantly use, like, nothing but Satchel of Elements over and over and over again, right? <laughs> it's going to actually make sense for me to use that Spin Blade. Uh, we're actually going to be doing that next time, so I can end off this episode right here, this pilot episode right here. We can look forward to in the next episode, where we're going to, I guess, either the Warped Forest or the Basalt Deltas. Ooh, I don't know which one we should do. It's kind of giving us a choice over here, which one we should do. Uh, we're actually at Apocalypse 4 difficult. Did we do that on 4 three, or uh, 5? I might have done that on four. That might have been why that was so easy. Pretty sure I, I need to go look at the footage. I'm probably going right at the bottom of the screen, but I'm pretty sure I did it on Apocalypse 5. I don't know. Oh yeah, what, what level was the other uh, stuff? Did we get anything that was lower than level 88? Yeah, everything was 88 or above, and this we had beforehand, yeah. So, because everything was level 88 or above... <laughs> I accidentally just hit the blacksmith right there. <laughs> but because everything was level 88 or above, you can see right there, gear and artifact power, level 88 to 98. Yeah, that just goes to show, yeah, we did do Apocalypse 5 right there. So, I don't know, should we do Apocalypse 6 next? Or should I do Apocalypse 5 again? I don't know. Seemed relatively easy right there, but I don't, I don't wanna I don't wanna get too ahead of myself here, you guys. <laughs> but either way, oh, there's like a Geiger counter going on right here in the Basalt Deltas. And the Warp Forest over here. Yeah, interesting stuff over here. We got a lot of boars and whatnot. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. I don't know which one I should do. Leave a comment down below. Which one should I do? The Warped Forest next or the Basalt Deltas? Because it looks like after we do either one of those, maybe something over here is going to unlock or... I don't know. It's not, it usually it shows you the last level, but for some reason it's not showing me anything right now. Unless it's like actually the Ancient Hunt. I don't know. 
Oh, I can access it from here. I don't have to actually go down to that little thing down there. Cool. I should definitely exper experiment more with that, though. Maybe we'll do that next episode, but, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoy the Minecraft Dungeons Flames of the Nether DLC today, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and by leaving a positive comment down there as well, because if I see a really positive response to today's pilot episode, I'll definitely play more of it here in the future. Just kind of testing the waters, because I know I played a lot of uh, Howling Peaks DLC pretty recently, so I don't know if you guys want to see more Minecraft Dungeons, or if you guys want to see me play something else just to get a breath of fresh air, so definitely let me know anything you guys are thinking in those comments down below. But for right now, let me just end off this video right here, so thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Minecraft Dungeons Flames of the Nether DLC comes out so you don't miss it. Because it looks like we have some really cool gear here we're going to be testing out, including this little spin blade thing down there, so that's going to be really cool to test out next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Dungeons Flames of the Nether DLC. Oh, bye there.